Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a quest in Smile Game Builder. If you go over here and talk to this NPC, she'll ask you to get a flower. You can select yes or no. No does nothing. Yes, we'll start the quest. Now the flower is in that box, but if I come back and talk to her again, she has different dialogue. Go over to the box, get the flower, return, and talk to her, and she has different dialogue again, thus ending the quest. And if you come back and talk to her again, she says, thank you for helping me, with a question mark, because I misspelled it. Valu hello, Captain Crabu here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a quest event in Smile Game Builder. Now, in order to do that, we need to go up to the Events tab in the upper right, and then select Advanced Events. Select that, drop it down. Now, very important, you need to make sure that the graphic has something in it if you want to be consistent, or else it's going to cause you a little bit of a headache later on down the road, and we're about to hit that right now. So, for this to work, I have found it's easiest to have four event sheets. And what this is going to do is it's going to break up the event so that when we approach the NPC and talk to them the first time, it will turn a switch on and we can get a different dialogue option the next time that we talk to the NPC before completing the quest. This is how it's going to work. I'm going to name the first one, Quest Give. You can name these however you want to, as long as it makes sense to you. In progress. Turn in. And the last one is Quest Complete. if you hit enter. <clears throat> so now we're going to go back to number one, quest give. Add event, display dialog. It can be whatever you want. Fairly straightforward. Now, what, the next step that we are going to do is we're going to add another event. Next, we're going to add Display Selection, and that will give us the opportunity to choose whether we want to do this quest or not. Standard yes, no, simple enough. Click off of it, and we will be presented with a branching system. We're only going to be worrying about this middle section here, so we will go to Add Event Panel, and we're going to go to Event Switches, and we're going to create an event switch. It's good. We're going to turn that. We're going to turn this one on. Go to no name. Click and click again to rename it. Okay. All right. So that completes us here. Now we're going to go to number two. Event sheet. However, in the event sheet conditions, we are going to check and make sure that the event flower quest is turned on and if it is it will complete all of this coding that we're going to put in over here we're going to add another condition and that will be to check if we have the item in our inventory so we're going after the flower so I'm going to use the moonlight flower because that's easier to remember for me and if it's equal to zero if it's not in our inventory the NPC will ask so now this adds a little bit of dynamic so instead of talking to her and she says the same thing now we get a different option if we've already selected the quest now we're gonna go to the turn in phase and the like the conditions before, we're going to make sure that flower quest switch is turned on. And we're going to check our inventory and make sure that the item is in our inventory. Instead of putting it to zero, we're going to put it 
to 1. Now, she'll display a dialog. And we are going to turn off the quest switch that we created. We're going to turn it off. And for just a little extra, we are going to create a local event in this drop-down menu, a local switch. That means it'll only be affected when you're talking to this NPC. And I will show you in the lat and the fourth and final step for this event. Now, now that we've completed all this, we're going to go to the fourth step. Add condition. We're going to check not for the flower quest, but for the local switch. Make sure that it is on, and that will give us a different dialog. And there we go. That's all it takes to create a quest in Smile Game Builder. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up to show you what it will look like. <clears throat> so now that that event has been created, I'm going to go to Searchables, Treasure Chest, Acquire Item. I'm going to drop it down right over here on this side of the house, and we're going to select the flower, which is what I've been using. I made a mistake once. Definitely make sure that you put the item that you need in that box. All right. Now that it's there, we can run the game and test it. If we go over here and talk to this little lady, she'll ask us to get her a flower. We can either say yes or no. If we say no, it does nothing. If we say yes, it'll change her dialogue if we talk to her again. Did you find it? Now we can go over here to this box, get the flower, go back and talk to her, and she'll say thank you. And now, thank you for helping me.